So you see that yellow flag right there? Well, that means water can make you sick. Dirty water is a serious problem at Humboldt Park Beach, whereas two investigator Brad Edwards reports the city spent a million dollars to help clean it up. No, no, no. Humboldt Park's beach is a summertime hit, and we informed swimmers of its bacteria woes. I don't think I'm going to go back in there. I'm kind of a little bit worried about even them even putting their toe in the water. Every morning at the University of Illinois, inside this lab, Chicago's beach water is tested, measured for enterococci, a bacteria found in bird and human feces. If testing finds the levels exceed 1,000 cells per 100 milliliters of water, it's estimated 36 out of 1,000 swimmers could become sick. At Humboldt Beach, there have been 18 unsafe days this summer. So far, more than a third of the time, with bacteria counts ticking as high as 44,000. Well, at first we wondered if it was a mistake. Dr. Sam Dorovich oversees the daily testing of water samples at all of Chicago's beaches. The numbers were not a mistake. Is that a concern? That is a concern. Diarrhea, vomiting. Some of the symptoms, says Dr. Lisa Ravindra. Kids are especially susceptible. They dunk their heads in, they swallow water. Yellow flag day, elevated levels. Would you let your child swim in it? No, I would not. Yet that day, the bacteria was over 1,500. Yellow flag warning. Kids still swam. The city once shuttered Humboldt, Chicago's only inland beach, to save money. The mayor reopened it in 2016 after an outcry. A million taxpayer dollars were spent on improvements. And yet there were still 63 unsafe days last summer. To lower bacteria counts, sources say the park district now pumps tens of thousands of gallons of fresh drinking water in daily to dilute the bacteria. I suspect that if the high flow of water were to stop, the numbers would skyrocket again. Pumping tons of fresh water into a dirty pond seems like a duct tape resolution. It is lowering the bacteria levels. I think removing the sources of the pollution would be important, but we're not even at that stage. Have they asked you to find the source yet? No. Should they? We'd be glad to do it for them. And the city concedes the likely problem is waste from seagulls and geese. It's working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to solve the bird problem. Renovations at Humboldt Beach allowed for a reduction in the use of fresh water, but water input is still necessary, they say, to maintain water quality for swimming. It seems Rob. like it's more and more expensive. All that money they pumped in there, might they have to close it again, or are they hoping for a different solution? Well, I think they've made some improvements compared to last year. I think they're hoping to double down on that. If they can mitigate some of the geese seagull problem with some of the work they're doing with greenery, I think they're hoping it gets better and better. Okay. All right, Brad, thanks. Mm -hmm.